Hey everyone, this is Nurio here with a Skyrim quick guide. Uh, today we will just be going over how to update our SKSE file. Uh, first thing is first, we will download the SKSE from the website of which I will provide a link below. Once we have that file, we just want to open up with whatever you have to open up those files with. Uh, next thing, we will come to our Skyrim directory, which is located in Steam, which is from Steam Apps Common to Skyrim Special Edition. After that, we just want to validate the DLL file from our main directory, which you will see here. I have the latest one, but if you're watching this, you're probably going to see an older one. So we just want to make sure that we delete the old one. If we don't, it will still remain in the folder. And from the new file directory that we have just downloaded, we want to click everything and just drag and drop. From there, it will download. It'll ask you to replace some files. You'll see that in a second. Uh, once that does come up, we'll just click replace the files in this destination and that will be all we have in the file directory. Now I use mod organizer, so I will be showing you how to update it proper in mod organizer once it's opened up. Uh, with that being stated, we now have mod organizer up. Uh, you see I had SKSE for my old variation here um, and the new one that I did of course do a test on earlier. Uh, we're just going to download a whole new variation. So wherever your downloads folder is for your SKSE, uh, mine is in my main directory. So I'll just go here to downloads, grab that, and we'll just use that that we pulled off from the website. You want to make sure it's in its zip form. You don't want to take it from direct folder. You want to do it in the zip form. From there, you'll get this install mod window. Uh, from there, we will just select data, set data directory. Once it says looks good, you are good to go. Uh, again, this is the only window here because I already had it, so I will be doing replace. And now we have SKSE fully installed. We want to make sure we check it off. Uh, of course, at the time of this video, a lot of my mods still haven't updated their uh, SKSE policy on their end. So once they do go up and running, you should be able to run all of them. And uh, catch my next video because I will be showing how to revert uh, changes if your Skyrim does go forward. Uh, but thank you for watching, like, subscribe, comment, all that, whatever. Uh, you guys take care.